Welcome back to Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara, where we take deep questions and make them translatable and relatable into your life in eh, five minutes or so, we'll say. <laughs> Deepak, the question for today is free will versus destiny. How much control do we really have over the outcome of our life? And I'm going to start the timer now. 99.99% of people do not express free will. They are like uh, bundles of conditioned reflexes and nerves that are constantly being triggered by people and circumstance into predictable outcomes. In other words, they're biological robots. If you want to have free will, then you have to go very deep into your consciousness, which is infinite possibilities, unpredictable, infinite creativity, the source of intention and power and creativity and freedom. You crushed that. You had 40 seconds left. <laughs> that was great. So when people talk about the framework of free will and they think that they're living their life that way, what is a good check for them to understand whether or not they're really living that way? My check always has been joyful, energetic body, loving, compassionate heart, reflective, alert mind, and lightness of being. If I'm not experiencing those four things, then I'm not exercising free will. Now, you know, this is the quest. The human quest is actually to know themselves, the spiritual quest anyway, is to know themselves as infinitely free, to be able to modulate consciousness as the experience of mind, emotions, ego identity, intellect, energetic body, physical body, and what we call the universe. They are all a unified process in your own being. They're not separate processes. And they express themselves to you as sensations, perceptions, images, feelings, and thoughts. Period. There's no other experience. These are the only experiences you have. The rest is a story. You know, free will, determinism. This is a story. And we've been through stories for thousands of years. They started with gossip. The first stories, the second, the human story started with gossip, which still is the most dominant story of humankind. The second was mythology. The third was religion. The fourth was theology. The fifth was uh, philosophy, and now it's science. They're all stories. They have nothing to do with reality. Reality is you, infinite being, infinite choices, infinite, predict, infinite uh, evolution. And that's the human quest. That's people have called enlightenment, but it's not something mysterious. It's actually knowing the source of what you're thinking, feeling, perceiving, sensing, and creating. And we should go into details of how to create reality. Because unless you understand reality, you will not be able to create it. You are the source of everything that you are experiencing right now. And when I say you, I don't mean your body-mind. That is also a projection. We're going to commit to doing another episode on creation of reality and even maybe even time creation. But for now... Ten, ten episodes. Great. Ten episodes. You heard it here first. <laughs> With that, I want you to talk about destiny. What is destiny and is that another story construct? Yeah, anything time we use words, we are constructing uh, experience, okay? So um, as Rumi said, the great Sufi poet, God's language is silence, everything else is poor translation. So we're trying our best to express in this in thought. And what was your question? Uh, destiny. Yeah, like destiny. Is, uh, is what happens as a result of the interpretation of past experiences and memories and the desires that spontaneously create what I call the software of your soul. But being software is changeable. So most people are in fact the victims of what they call in Eastern traditions, I have to use these words because these words are important, karma. Karma is the software of memory and desire, experience and interpretation of experience. Once you understand that, then you see the destiny, which is whatever you're experiencing right now, this moment is a result of all the choices you've made in the past, either consciously or unconsciously. 
this moment and everybody who's actually watching this, their moment is also a result of all the choices they've made consciously or unconsciously in the past. So karma determines the situation, circumstances, events, and relationships of the present. But that doesn't mean it's you're locked into it. What you do with those situations right now is dependent on how self-aware you are, how you can navigate the dark alleys and the ghostful attics and the secret passages of your mind and go beyond that. And that's the whole spiritual quest to actually create your own destiny. So everything is a story. Create your own stories. Create your own destiny. Very well said. We're talking about stories. So your random fun question for the day is, if someone were to play you in a movie, who would you choose? Oh, I would have chosen somebody um, that um, I knew well. Um, and I met a lot of really interesting people. So I might have chosen Omar Sharif, who's no longer with us. If you saw Dr. Zhivago or any of those old movies, then probably I would have chosen him. Or we could bring his spirit back and he could play Deepak in the Deepak movie. <laughs> well, thank you everyone for tuning in to another episode of Diving Deep with Deepak and Dara. It's been a pleasure and we look forward to hearing your comments to this video underneath, letting us know what you learned, what you loved, and what you'd like to learn more about in our future episodes. Subscribe to our channels, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Deepak Chopra and at Dara B. And lastly, if you want to go even more deep with us, we have a one hour free masterclass on living a more meaningful life ended with a free guided meditation at lifebydesignsummit.com forward slash Deepak. We look forward to tuning in with you next time.